Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in from Brandon Marin, or Marin. Well, I'm not sure which way to say that, Brandon, but thanks for your question here. Hey Matt, my name is Brandon and I am an aspiring teen photographer in New York City uh, at PhotoTeenNYC on Instagram. My starting camera has been the Nikon D3300 and I have used it to really explore the world of portraiture as that is the field of photography that interests me. My question is whether or not I should upgrade to a Nikon D7200 with a Sigma 18 to 35 f, uh, f1.8G or just the Nikon D750 body and stick to my 50mm 1.8G that I already own. Both will cost 1800 so as a teenager, it's a really huge buy. I'm only considering the DX body because I've gotten amazing results with my D3300 and do not know if a jump to full frame is necessary for portraiture or staying with DX can still be an okay option. I've done my research and I found out the D750 has an AA filter while the D7200 does not. Please help me out. Sorry for the long question. Love your content. Keep it up. Well, thank you, Brandon. Thank you for your compliments there. And thank you for your question. Um, short answer is... Um, it's not necessary. You can get amazing results as you've seen from your D3300. A DX camera can deliver amazing results. I mean, I shot DX cameras for years professionally. Uh, so I don't have any problem with you getting a 7200. And if you got the Sigma 18 to 35 or 18, yeah, 18 to 35 F1.8 with that, it'd be a killer combination. Very powerful combination. Um, and the 50 f1.8 on a DX body is a beautiful portrait lens. It's one of my favorites. So, great setup. The 750, uh, I'm worried you're not going to see as much difference as you think you are going to see, maybe. A lot of people step into full frame and, and expect have huge expectations when cameras like the 33 and the 72 are already performing so well for crop sensors that there's, there's specific things specific reasons you want to upgrade shallower depth of field stopper two better high iso performance those are the things if those are important to you the stopper two better high iso performance shallower depth of field then you're going to like it it's also going to be a more rugged better body than your 33 but so is the 72 you can get a lot of the advantages of a more professional body with dual controls and things like that on the 72 so um i think price wise you might be be more enjoying a 7200 with the Sigma 18 to 30, uh, 35 um, because just going to the 750, um, I tend to find a 50 mil a little boring on a full frame. I, I would prefer an 85. So you're going to be short on glass and have expended your budget with a 750. Whereas I think if you get a 72, you've got uh, you're going to see a lot of advantages to the 7200 just in the features and whatnot, and the dual command dials and the better AF system. Uh, still a really, really good top of the line performing APS-C sensor, DX sensor, and that 18 to 35 F1.8 zoom is going to open up a world of possibility for you. That's probably the way I would recommend going, unless you have a lot more budget coming down the road to add lenses to a 750. Um, I mean, I'm not saying don't get a 750. It's a great camera. I'm just based on what you're saying here, I think the 7200 with the 18-35 f1.8 might be a better option for you. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? 72 and 18-35? Or do you think you should go with the 750 and then add glasses so you can afford it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's help Brandon think out this purchasing decision. Thanks for your question, Brandon. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.